Well, mm-hmm. tell me how you started, man. So obviously, oh, mm-hmm. you're a plumber or in the trades back in the day when you were younger. Yeah, yeah I've um, been doing this for over 20 years, and it's just, I mean. What, was your family in it also? Your no, dad? not really. Well, you know what? I was an AC guy. So I don't know. If oh, I okay. I was an AC guy, and that's how I came to San Antonio. Uh, where you from where? I'm from El Paso. Oh, so. that's where you're from too, right? Yes. And y'all didn't know each other back then. No. Though. So we, it's just a coincidence. Wow. Yes. Okay. I, mean, I mean, and we talk and we probably just like walk through each other, but we never met each other until here in San wow. Antonio. Wow. Small world though. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. So I was working as an AC guy for five years and I was pretty good though. Mm-hmm. I was really good. And one of the companies was sold for this multimillionaire uh, company. And the guy, the master plumber... Uh, he had to move, the contract had to move into San Ant- somewhere, somewhere else. He had to move out of the, out of, out of the city. Mm. So he moved to San Antonio. And he opened his own business here. And he brought me here. He said, well, you want to come over here? And he offered me more money in an you? apartment. I was 19, 20. Wow, that's awesome. You're so it was a lot of money for me. And I'm like, yeah. I asked my dad, I said, yeah, so are you. So I moved over here. By yourself? By myself. Wow. Do you have any family here? Not at all. Not until I find out it was a cousin here. Uh-huh. And so I lived here for a year and a half of myself. And then finally I found my cousin and then we started going fishing here and there. <laughs> and then he's a plumber. So Your cousin was a yeah, plumber? So that's okay. the company that I used to, where well, I was working at as an AC guy. It started getting real slow. So I started moving into the plumbing division. Mm-hmm. He had a, a AC guy in, in plumbing. So I started doing some plumbing here and there. And then... Finally, I said, you know, I'm going to go back to El Paso. Mm-hmm. And my cousin said, no, 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 just come over here and work for me. And I started working for him. Mm-hmm. So I worked for him for almost 11 years, if I'm not mistaken. And then and then I moved to another company. It was more commercial, industrial, new construction. Mm-hmm. And then here I am now. So your wife, um, you met her here? No, my wife is from Juarez, right over there. I oh, met okay. him over there. We were, when I moved to San Antonio, we were, we were just dating Oh, we're okay. Just so, so y'all been mm-hmm. together for a while, and then we planned our wedding in a year and a half, probably. And then I just went back to El Paso. Uh, we got married, and then she she came over here back with me. Wow, well, that's awesome! And she's been here for almost twenty, you, you know, 20 years. I know you've got kids also. Mm-hmm. How old's your oldest? My oldest is twenty five. Twenty five. Mm-hmm. Wait, and you have a you have just five boys. One? I you have, have one. Boys. How old is the the youngest one? My uh, youngest one. one is one in three months. Brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you I must don't. have a lot of time on your hands mm-hmm. now. No, is that I why you're <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, no, my, my point was this because it feels like now the the generation with kids is a little different. You know, I have a 22, 19, and 17, all good boys. But uh, to do what you did back in the day at 19, to just kind of get up and go and leave, it's it's hard. I don't think, uh, I mean, you always hear about stories where kids are still living with their parents at 30, mm-hmm. 35, you know, and, and I, I won't speak to that other than like, you know, I just definitely want to push my boys to kind of get out. I mean, because I, I basically have a similar story. I, I At 18, when I graduated high school from McAllen, Texas, I just wanted to get out of Dodge. I was like, I'm going to get out, do something different. I kind of knew what if I were to stay back home, what my life was going to be like. And because I had other family and, and, and to each his own, you know, whatever makes you happy. It wasn't like I was judging anybody, but I just wanted something different, you know, and, mm-hmm. and I wanted to, to go somewhere big. San Antonio. I mean, it's, it's like the, a bigger version of where I came from, but the culture's the same, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's funny because my wife is a high school sweetheart and my high school sweetheart. And she actually uh, came up with me, you know, we're, we were I think, together for a year or two at that time. And uh and she said, I'm, I'm going to go to San Antonio also. And so I was coming up to go to school at UTSA, and she was going to move up with some friends to go to, to college also. But the, it, it was just that. You just took off and did did it. You know, I for me, I always kind of look forward and not look back. And and, um, and fortunately, I got into doing the way what I'm doing now at 20 years old. But it's just it's it's encouraging to hear that people do that. Right. Mm-hmm. But it's it's hard to imagine this generation doing that now taking those chances and I, and not not to like generalize it cuz even my my middle son's like one of those that's real independent mm-hmm. kind of but uh, i always find it fascinating when you hear the stories i think there's more like uh it kind of leathers you up in the sense where you have more grit and you've you've gone through it at an early age and you've kind of gone through those up and downs and then it makes you more successful obviously when you get mm-hmm. to the point where you're at now where you're growing your team and you're 20 years or 
well, not 20 years into the business, but 25 years into just being on your own and, and yeah. in this journey, it's just a testament a lot of times mm -hmm. uh, to that generation, hopefully this next generation. I don't know can. about this generation. <laughs> I mean, when I was 20, I was already a grown man. I mean, I yeah. was a dad already by the time. So, so I mean, you, I mean, I needed to work. I, I knew I had to work. And I was, as a matter of fact, I was going to school and I was going, I was yeah. working at the same time, but it was hard. But I mean, I said, you know what? I like more money. So I said, well, Either I, if I want more money, I guess I'm gonna have to stay working. So, I mean, usually my time is always overtime. I will love. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can ask my wife. I mean, sometimes I will get home seven, eight. Yesterday we got home at nine, nine wow. thirty. I mean, it's just Monday, Saturday, and Sunday. I always have to be doing something. It's yeah. just, it's you just, just like a, to keep it's busy. Just I like to do. It. I just like to keep doing business, doing, doing whatever. I mean, yeah. I don't like to be at home just doing nothing. So when you were with your Cousin for eleven years, twelve years. When was it that you said, "Hey, I want to go off on my own"? I just went no, but that was not on. on that was after that. I went to this company it's called Satex. They oh, only okay. do new construction, okay. and they 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 offered me a job, and it was pretty good. And I was just wanted to have something different. I guess I was just. I said, you know, let me just. I was real comfortable with my cousins, but I wanted to, to just, just discover to something up, on yeah. the on the outside. So, and I discovered this company, and I, I was I was grateful on that company. I mean that. My ex bosses, I mean, they were great, and and I love it being there. It's just I started getting real busy, real busy on my on my on my job because I was already a I was already a, a master plumber, and I already had my business mm -hmm. working under Sigtex. Oh, okay. so my so company more, was already you were doing, like a little sub. sub yeah, like it was like a hi, uh, like it was like an uh, I was already doing like let's say suggest, but it wasn't really a side because it was already my job, mm -hmm. my my company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got to a point where I was so busy, and I told my I asked my guy, you know what, I'm done. I mean, this mm -hmm. is just too much. I was working after hours and weekends. I was living out of town, and decided just to go by myself. And, and how and was that? I, was, I mean, <laughs> I think I think I should have go. I wish should have stayed with Satex now. <laughs> <laughs> now he works more. Yeah, now, well, now I work more, and there's less more stress. Well, the thing that I I think that people don't realize is like. And not everyone's wired this way, but for me, I like to control my own destiny, right? I, I want to control the direction of my my life and my family's life, right? And it's hard to, I think that's what's different between entrepreneurs, business owners versus, you know, uh, people that, you know, work the nine to five jobs. Again, nothing wrong with that. But um, security is one thing for a lot of people, right? Just mm -hmm. having a job that will pay the bills. But I think for me, uh, as you get older, of course, they say when you, when people say it's not about money, it's because, well, they have money. Well, it's more about just controlling for me destiny generationally if my boys want to kind of take over down mm -hmm. the road or I don't know, maybe I'm just wired differently, but it, it does help even though you may be working more, but now it's like you're working for yourself. You're working mm -hmm. on your, I always say baby, your business. Mm -hmm. And so you can dictate how, how big this is going to go, or you get to the point where, you know, I'm good here, mm -hmm. you know, whatever goals those may be, but I, and it comes with its challenges, obviously, mm -hmm. but I think it's different when you have your own business versus working for someone else, especially in the trades. You know, I think it's worth all the ups and downs and the and the uh, late nights sometimes. And oh yeah, you'll get to the point maybe when you kind of maybe pull back, but you have still got a lot of energy in you, of course. Yeah, no, and then uh, I mean, I really get it. I mean, really get it into it a lot. I mean, it's just uh, and then one of the, my problems is that I don't know how to say no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know how to say no, and then I mean they That's asked so me hard. to do this and that, and like right now driving this way, there was a guy customer they called and he needed like two more, and I don't I don't know I don't have to sell it. You know I know you have to wait the next week. Yeah. He's okay. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. So I mean, what I'm gonna tell him that I'm gonna get it done. Yeah. So. That's my problem. It so, is tough. It, it, it is. You always, I think, you always want to aim to please your customers. Yeah, and do whatever I mean, my you customers can are pleased. And... Well, my employees as well. I mean, trust yeah. me. I mean, every day uh, I'm on my company because I know it's only not me. I mean, it's it's, it's a group of of person that work under me. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they they depend of of having work. I For mean, sure. Yeah. I mean, they 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 have to bring money to their table every day at home, and and I know if corporate I mean, is not getting more work, I mean, they're not gonna have that. Right, the, right. the food on their table. So, so I really uh, struggle sometimes. I struggle, not really struggle, but I mean, I just on on work. I mean, trying to find work for everyone, making sure I mean, making sure everybody has right. their work, and we're completely week two weeks. Make sure, make sure we are. I mean, and we don't have like have to send somebody home. I don't. I had never sent somebody home. Never. Yeah, I had what, never sent somebody. How home. big is the team? Right now we're five. Right, five, five techs. Plumbers. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there Brenda and, uh, Abba herself? Brenda, didn't you have someone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I do I, yes. No, do I bring that up? No, never mind. It's uh, up to you. It's up no, no, no. It's well, speaking of like family's hard, right? Mm-hmm. And I know your sister was helping you. Yeah, uh, she with, she joined the team. That. It was going to be a year, but um, everything was going well. Mm-hmm. However, I've always heard. Don't bring family members mm. to work with you and right. so forth, which I wanted to, I didn't want that myth to be true. Sure. I was just like, no, it's not true. Because I've seen businesses ran by family members and they're very successful. Right, right. But right. in this case, it, it didn't go like that. Right. Um, it's and tough. I mean, it is. It is. It was tough separating the the relationship, the sister relationship versus the right the, the manager. professionalism, the, yes. the business part of it. Right. So it was a little hard on that. It didn't work out, and I was brought up like, would you hire another family member right now? No, I have mm-hmm. a sour taste in my mouth, mm-hmm. and I'm like, uh, no, yeah. not right now. Yeah. So it's tough. Yeah, yeah. I think even like because like, my wife and I, um, my wife's you know, works at my, you know, she's part owners, basically, you know, mm-hmm. it's our business. So we've been blessed to, to, to be able to work together really well. It's, it's, it's hard family, you know, dynamic because you, you, again, back to like, you spend a lot of time with your work family and then you get home to your real family, you know? So a lot of times bringing that when you're working with family during the day and then trying not to bring mm-hmm. it to the, the business, to the house at night, mm-hmm. it's a little challenging, but uh, I'm sure you'll find a good replacement here soon uh, mm-hmm. to help. But um, I'm actually, I just wanted to come in to you because I know you've grown and you started off, you know, six, seven years ago. And um, what's helped you grow the most besides networking? Uh, what's like the residential is part of it? You do a lot of commercial as yeah, well. Commercial. Is that kind of what's taken off right now, the commercial? Commercial. So yeah, I, I think I, I got... I got into these uh, general contractors that, uh, I mean, you're probably going to know Dude, this guy. Hopefully, you do that guy's right. If I can tell you something, I'll just do a quick testimony. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, obviously, we're part of a power team, which mm-hmm. is a little team that we created of just trades. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think the power of, number one, not only networking, connecting with like-minded professionals, um, but also not, you know, asking the, the power of just asking, you know, for your need and, and having people around that are always going to help you kind of get that need mm-hmm. for you. And so yesterday's meeting, uh, when, when I asked for any connections to GCs, when you emailed your GC during the meeting, I mean, I get to my office and that GC is actually emailing me already. Hey, Caesar said that you mm-hmm. do flooring, blah, blah, blah. Can you bid these three projects? And actually I spoke to him today cause he actually yeah. he told me he has another one. I was like, I said, and I told him, I said, I said, this, uh, the guy I'm working with is Clay, I think. Clay, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, I said, first of all, thank you for, for referring me, right? Um, but I told him, I said, listen, if you are service-minded, service-oriented, obviously budgets are important. And I, I know what CSER stands for is, is we're, we're yoked the same way. I mm-hmm. said, we're, we're, we're going to make sure you guys are, are you know, our priority. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what it's about, right? And I know that's what you're good at, and that's why you've been successful, and mm-hmm. it's helped mm-hmm. you kind of grow. And uh, I don't know if that's because the bigger ticket items help you from from um, keeping your guys busy or, or or if that's your specialty where you like getting your hands dirty more on the commercial side. or. Well, I mean, to be honest, commercial side, is, there's more money. Mm-hmm. It takes longer to get paid, yeah. but it's more money, and sure. then you keep the guys real busy. Yeah. I mean, you have guys busy all the time. I mean, mm-hmm. you have work for them most of the time. If you get a big project, I mean, you know there's work for them for a month, two months, three months, whatever. Mm-hmm. And residential is kind of more, it's, it's money right away. Right. But, I mean, it's just here Those and there. Those are smaller service, kind yeah, of yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, mm-hmm. now, there's some big jobs in the residential, but I mean, not as much. But, I mean, what? Uh, back, going back into your question, um, I guess uh, I... I got all these customers just for our work. I mean, they, they all, they, not only our work, I mean, referrals probably was mm-hmm. most of all my game, uh, customers are all referrals. Mm-hmm. It's just mouth to mouth. They say, hey, you know, mm-hmm. I know this guy. I know this guy. Is, mm-hmm. I mean, I know a guy. I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know a guy that he's real good. And, yeah. and mm-hmm. some people even laugh when they come. It's, oh, I got you from this guy, from this person that he said that you're a real good, uh, plumber. He said, oh, and you don't I, even oh, know who it is. <laughs> No, and then I'll tell them, most of the time I'll tell them, oh, he lied to you. <laughs> and they're just, they're, they're just laugh. And it's just building that trust yeah, with that sure. customer. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's customers that call us like, hey, I'm going out of town, but my toilet's leaking. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the code to get in. Just let me know when you yeah. guys are done. And we're like, okay, yeah. sure. That's and awesome. 
I think that relationship Caesar has built it with mm. the residential side and it's just word of mouth. Mm. And and also it it starts with a phone call. I, I make sure I build that trust over the phone right. so that when my guys get there, they know what to expect. Mm-hmm. 